So I decided to make a cake factory in Minecraft. Why? Because I can. If you want some cake, all you gotta do is like this video and press subscribe. And a huge thanks to the roughly 3,000 legends that have subscribed since the last video. Welcome to episode 19 of Hardcore Minecraft. I'm going to build a cake factory. And this video shout out is coming from... Instagram. Thank you to this person, you're an absolute legend. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft. You guys know the drill, first things first, we got to add another 200 melons to the farm. And you know, I think for today's episode, I'm just going to do a quick jump cut, so... Here we go. Alright, and just like that, I've added another 200 melons to the farm, as always. If you want to see how big this farm ends up getting, make sure to subscribe. And who knows, maybe one day I'll do an episode just fully dedicated to growing this melon farm to be the entire biome. Or something crazy like that. Anyway, now let's get into the rest of the video. Alright, so the concept for today is we're going to be building a cake factory. But before we can start getting into any of the farms or intricate parts of it, we need to build the cake factory building first. And there's a few materials I'm going to want to get from the Mesa biome. A lot of episodes back actually, I don't remember how many, but we built a portal to the Mesa biome in the nether so we could get there easier. And today I'm kind of just trying to remember where I built that, to be honest. All I really remember is it was just somewhere in the nether, in this direction. Okay, through here makes sense to me. Okay, yeah, I'm recognizing this, I remember coming this way, I'm pretty sure under here this is where things may get a little confusing right, let's just see if we can't just like brute force our way to this portal I feel like it's gonna be somewhere around here right yeah yeah yeah. i know where we are we've nailed this i think i think we've nailed this up here and then somewhere down here we should be our portal right right yeah we found it perfect all right so we successfully remembered our way to the mesa now what i'm here to pick up is actually is this the block yeah, orange terracotta. I'm here to just mine a bunch of it. orange terracotta. I figured this would be way easier than having to dye terracotta myself. So I need a bit over four stacks of this stuff. So I'm just going to tear up this whole mountain. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. We've hit the jackpot. I hear zombies. Why do I hear zombies? It's daytime. All right, now we can make our way out of here. We don't need to tear up the mesa anymore. All right, and off we go. Oh golly, I might be lost. Hey, we made it. All right, good to be back. All right, the only other material we need, which fortunately we have quite a lot of, is a bit of red wool. We also need a bit of white wool. That's uh, plenty. And now we can get building. All right, so the inspiration for this build today is going to come from this cake here. We're, we're just going to build a, a giant cake. That's, that's all we're going to do. Let's build a cake. Now we just got to do some icing. Alright, this is looking pretty sweet. Haha, <laughs> sweet. Alright, now just to add the little, the little cherries, you know, the little oh. cherries on top. And that should be it. I think that's the top of the cake decorated. I don't think I've missed any little spots anywhere. Wow, I'm so talented. Look, Bruh. it's a cake. This actually doesn't look, this looks awful. Whatever, it'll do. Oh gosh, and I've forgotten to light up inside our cake. So now we have created a cake mob chamber. <laughs> Whoa, sorry spider, but you have to go. 
Alright, now we have reclaimed our cake. So now we just have the steps of transforming this thing into a cake factory. Because right now it's just an empty cake shell. We need to make it a cake factory. Alright, so it would be impossible to fit like the entire cake factory in this tiny cake. So what I plan to do is just build a stairwell down so we can start building underground and just have tons more room to build all the stuff we need to build. But as you should know, there are four ingredients you need to make a cake. You need sugar, eggs, milk, and flour. Oh, what? So we're going to have to allocate for four different spaces to provide for each of those ingredients, materials, and preferably have like some sort of hopper system. That's the plan. That's the idea. We'll have to wait and see. All right, so this is going to be our center room here. Fittingly enough, I've made it a circle. All right, all right. So let me show you the game plan. As I said, there are four ingredients we need to put into each cake. And therefore that means we need four different parts to this cake factory. The first step will be the automatic sugarcane farm, which will go here. It should work 24 seven, providing us with sugar and will be dragged through many hoppers back to the center room. The next ingredient is wheat. We need three pieces of this for every cake. So we're gonna need quite a large wheat farm. That leaves us with eggs and milk. Eggs is super simple. All we'll need is a bunch of chickens in this room over here, which will lay eggs into some hoppers and then a cow station in the middle here where we will have infinite milk and that's it all right let's get building this thing all right so here's the basic design for our for our sugarcane farm here all right so we're gonna have a, a powered railway that goes like so then above that we're gonna plant some sugarcane pretty simple the redstone i'll just show you what i've got in mind so we'll just place an observer at the top so an observer at the top facing in towards this block, piston here, one line of redstone here, and then whenever a sugar cane, which will be planted here, grows, well, this tall, the piston will push, breaking that sugar cane, and then it should drop down here, be collected, it'll go into a hopper, a hopper will be funneled through here, and it will come out here. So that's the design, probably not the most efficient thing, but for once, this is my actual own design instead of following a tutorial. Six and a half hours later. Just place our sugar canes like so, so we can easily put our observers into them. There you go, that's how it works. That chest. Yeah, all right, let's get this thing rolling. So that should roll forever. Fill this all in with glass, because that is complete. Now, I understand that this the scale of this sugarcane farm is, like, tiny. And in order for this to be, like, an efficient cake farm, I would actually need to have, like, a ginormous automatic sugarcane thing. But this will do. This is my creation. I make the rules. All right, so all we're really going to need to automate, like, the production of eggs is just a bunch of hoppers and, well, a bunch of chickens as well. How I might do it to give it more of that uh, humane factory feel is I'll do a line of hoppers, then I'll have like two separate, two separate like spots. So then if I just get a bunch of chickens and I put them in each of these cages. I mean, this works, it's scuffed, but this works. It's gonna take us a while to wait for these chickens to grow up. So what I think we should do... Alright, well, I'm not really doing too much with these chickens here. So, may as well let these suckers roam free. Alright, let's go, chickens. Come on. Alright, now I just gotta figure out how do I get chickens to go down there. Does this... Okay, well, that... That worked. Alright, it's a little bit surely we're getting them in. Just like that, we have finessed our way into having a bunch of chickens in here. It's a water checkpoint. You guys know the drill. Take a break, pause the video, go get yourself some water, and let's drink together. Cheers. Now, usually at this point in the video, I would self-promote or something, um, but I'm too lazy. So let's get back into the video. All right, so out this way, we're gonna have the wheat farm. We're gonna have a semi-automatic wheat farm. Um, since you need three wheat per cake, I figure we should probably make this fairly big. So I'm gonna have this in two sort of tiers. Haven't quite looked up the redstone on this. So I might just freestyle something, but pretty much it's gonna have a water stream at the top, which we can activate with like a button, which will stream down and put all the items into, you know, hoppers down here. All right, so we're gonna need the water on either side of this thing. I'm gonna go grab all the redstone bits I'm gonna need. I'm gonna try and figure out how to make this kind of automatic. I have an idea, but it might be a bit slightly outdated. All right, super basic redstone brain here, but here's, here's my plan. Here's my strategy. We'll turn that lever on for a second. See how far we can get our redstone signal to travel. OK, 
Okay, baby, that works. Then all it should take from here... And then when we pull that lever down, we deactivate all the redstone, this piston will retract, the water will then flow. Aha! Well, we've run into another issue. Alright, the next part of this, which we haven't quite done, is we need to get the collection system. Let's consider this the first test, let's see. Bruh. All right, and we've made it one too long. Eventually. All right, that's all sweet. Now, if we do the water now, I'm guessing it'll still be one short. Although that's now perfect because it'll... Yeah, yeah, that's actually perfect now. We don't even need these annoying little uh, pressure plates down here because the water ends here and everything just falls off perfectly into these hoppers. All right, and our wheat farm is now complete. Uh, we haven't managed to grow any wheat while I was building this because the amount of times I've accidentally turned it on. Water's gone everywhere and broke it. Been too many times, but it's now done. We don't have to tamper with it anymore. We should be able to grow some wheat. And that just leaves this middle room where we need to get a couple of cows to milk and we'll be pretty much done. We now have the fun little task of trying to find a couple of cows. I'm hoping there'll be some cows somewhere nearby. I mean, even one will do, but come on, cow, where where are your friends? All right, well, you know what? Screw it. One cow it is. Wait a minute. I knew there'd be a second one. All right, we're so close. We're nearly there. All right, and like so, and like so. We now have two cows in here. All right, so I just want to like set up little uh, areas in each of the corners here for these cows. That's it in there. Just like that, we've got two happy, happy cows. We've got our milk, our sugar, our wheat, and our eggs. And just like that, we had every piece of our cake factory now complete, and all that was left for us to do was to decorate the area, make it look nice, and we'd be completely done. Okay, wait, big brain idea, big brain idea. This is the biggest brain idea I've had in a long while. It's a cake on a roof. That looks kind of awful. You know what? I don't really like it, but it's staying. It's a cake on a roof. And just a few moments later, with a couple more magical finishing touches, and the Wadsy Cake Factory was now in business. All right, now the cake factory is complete. Um, so I'll give you a quick little tour. So you come in here, you've got this staircase. Come down here to the main area. We've got your, your cows to milk. You've got the cake on the roof, which I've grown to love. You've got this lovely orange accent going all through the middle. Come across here, you'll see that continues on in here in our chicken room. You can see we've got a lot of eggs. Across here, you'll see our automatic sugarcane farm. You can't really see much, but that's been kind of working. Like, we've got a bit more sugarcane. That's been doing its bit. And finally, the, the wheat farm, which isn't fully grown yet, but I think for the sake of it, let's just flip that lever. All right, now we've got all this junk. We can come down here, collect our wheat. Our inventory is a little bit full, but that's fine. All right, now let's go ahead and let's make our very first cake with the brand new cake factory. And I'm too lazy, so I'm just gonna do this. Now I might AFK around here for a little while, let our wheat grow, let our sugar cane grow. We'll see how much resources we can get and then we'll see how many cakes we can make. Oh, it's time, let's make some cakes. All right, here's the strategy. We just load our inventory up with all the resources possible. Alright, let's craft some cakes. Alright, now there you have it. That's all the cake we have. I mean, not too bad. All right, but no cake focus video would be complete without one final thing. And that's a cake stairway. It would be wrong not to. So there we go. That's the first step. That's going to be the second. Oh, no. Now I need to get hungry so I can actually eat these stupid cakes. So one. Okay, so cake stairway is going to go this way. No! I need to do this again. 
All right, if you haven't seen this before, you should figure out where this is going. We're building a cake staircase. Two, three. Nick, man. All right, moment of truth. Will I finish the cake or will it go down to one sliver? <gasps> Perfect. All right, well, that's that's one layer of the, the cake staircase. Hang on, let me show you where it gets really cool. All right, come on, horsey. All right, now this is where the power of the cake staircase really shines. Yeet! Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> okay. So that's where I'm going to leave off this episode for today. If you guys want to see me build this cake staircase right up until build height, make sure to drop a like on this video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. I'd appreciate it a lot. I post videos just like this one all the time, so you won't regret it. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. All right, all right, this isn't a normal outro. I know at this point of the video, I'd usually tell you guys to go check out my second channel, but today, instead, I'm telling you to go check out a video that my sister actually made on her own channel. Me and her, we actually cooked a cake, and it was kind of a disaster, but you're gonna wanna watch the video. So I'll leave a link for that in the description. Go check it out right now. Seriously, go check it out. Subscribe to my sister. Go. I don't know what to say.